Hello there, Muno Faraere. Welcome to this Shona tutorial. We'll be teaching you how to address relatives from your wife's side. So in this video, just see yourself as you are husband to your wife and we're going to teach you how to address relatives from your wife's side. Stay tuned. Let me start by explaining the key which will help you to understand the flowchart that I'll be using to explain the different ways in which you're going to address the different people or the different relatives from your wife's side. The maroon rectangle represents females. The blue rectangle represents males. The black line represents marriage. So you're going to see a black line usually between a maroon rectangle and a blue rectangle showing that those people are joined through marriage. A green line represents children coming from that marriage. Okay, let's do this. So we're going to start with your wife's parents. Your wife's parents, you're going to address them like so. Your wife's mother, which is your mother-in-law, you address her as Ambuya. Ambuya. Your wife's father, which is your father-in-law, you're going to address her as Baba or Tezara. Tezara. I hope that's clear. Now, going to your wife's siblings. If your wife's siblings is a male, which means it's your wife's brother, you're going to address him as Tezara. O Tano Tezara O Tano. Now going to your wife's sisters. If if she is an older sister to your wife, you're gonna address her as Maiguru, which is the top one here. Maiguru. If she is younger than your wife, you're gonna address her as Mainini. Mainini. Okay. Now going to the counterpart that are married to your wife's brothers. You're going to address them as Ambuya. Ambuya. These are the ones who are married to your wife's brothers. Yeah. You're going to address them as Ambuya. The children that are coming from this marriage. If it's a male child, if it's a female child, sorry. The children that are coming from this marriage, if it's a female child, you're going to address her as Mainini. Mainini. And the male counterparts that are married to the female child, you're going to address as Baba Munini or Baba Mudiki. Baba Munini or Baba Mudiki. The children that come from this marriage, if it's a male child, you're gonna call him Mwana. It's like it's your child. You're gonna treat him as your own child. It's Mwana. If the same applies to the female child, you're gonna address her as Mwana. Now, going to the male child coming out of uh, the marriage of your wife's brothers. The male child, you're going to address him as Tsano. Tsano. And the female counterparts that are married to Tsano here, yeah, or to the male child from your wife's brother's marriage, you're going to address as Ambuya. Ambuya. The children that are going to come from this marriage, the male child, you're going to address as Tsano. Tsano. The female child, you're going to address as Mainini. Mainini. Now, going to the side of your wife's sisters, uh, the husbands who are married to your uh, to your wife's sisters now if uh, the your wife if the sister is older than your wife 
you're going to address uh, the husband is baba mukuru baba mukuru if the if uh, the sister is younger than your wife if your wife's sister is younger than her the husband you're going to address as baba munini o baba mudiki baba munini o baba mudiki the children that come from this marriage the female child you're going to address as mwana mwana which is similar to just your child you're going to treat as your own you're going to treat as your own child the the male counterpart that are married to uh, the female child you address as mukwasha mukwasha and the children that come from this marriage if it's a female child you address as muzukuru muzukuru and if it's a male child you are also address as muzukuru now going to the male child coming from uh your wife's sister's marriage yeah you're going to address as mwana as well similar to the female child meaning you're going to treat uh the child as your own uh male child and so your address is mwana and to the female counterparts that are married to the male child you address as murora murora the children that come from this marriage both of them whether male or female you're going to address as muzukuru muzukuru now going to the top here we've got uh starting with uh your mother's uh your wife's mother uh your wife's mother's sister you also address as ambuya ambuya and your wife's mother's brother you address as sekuru sekuru going to your wife's father's side your wife's father's sister you address her as tete tete o atete atete and your wife's father's brother you address similar to the way you address your wife's father which is baba o tezara baba o tezara this brings us to the end of this tutorial thank you so much for joining and for the love of shona see you in the next one ndatenda